Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here with the last part of several videos that were through Gina B. Aaron's design team. And then these two were for her design team. And these two I did for myself. So I want to do the flip throughs because they're finished. And I want to make sure that everybody has seen them. Alright, so let's do the first one for Gina. All right, the challenge when I did this one was to, who knows? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think it was cut or punch. That's what it was. Oh my word. All right, so I drew a mandala on her digi paper and glued it onto the top of the box because I need to remember where it came from and what it was for. So I've already done a flip through on this once already so this may be a repeat for some of you and feel free to fast forward but I wanted to yeah, let's go in a little closer I didn't want to like kill your eyeballs here but all right so I wanted to show you everything that's completely finished and these are all the mandalas on uh, Gina's digi paper This was over about three to five days of doing this while I watch TV at night with my husband. We don't always agree on what to watch TV on TV, so I put my headphones on and I doodle. <laughs> on the back side, I didn't want to do mandalas on, the, on both sides because honestly, I was getting a little bored with doing them. So I decided to do miscellaneous doodles on the opposite side. I really like this one. This one looks, whoa, focus, sorry. Just looks like little squares that are piled on, little pieces of paper are put in a circle. All right, let me go down slowly so it doesn't go nuts. There we go. Hope that's it, sorry guys. This one I, I didn't do anything else to. I left it plain. And I think this goes this way. Yes, it does. Because then there's things coming out of the ground on this one. I didn't want them to get too, too elaborate. Although, there were days where I was really feeling frisky. <laughs> Made them no more complicated than they need to be. All right, so there's that one. Then um, Gina sent us a bunch of uh, cute little stickers that she has for sale in her um, Etsy store. So I had another box and I thought, okay, well that's cool. Then I will doodle on them. So I glued her, um, again, her digi paper. And then I stuck the stickers on here. And then I doodled on them, most of them. I think I just doodled on the sides there. And this one, I only went around the edges. That was it for that one. I didn't do a lot to that one because it, it, was, it was okay the way it was. This one I doodled a lot on. Here's a flower. I just did the top here, did a little outlining. That's basic. This one's just one of her leaves I outlined and made dots on it. Again, I just traced the veins that she already had established and outlined it. This is just outlined, and then I think I drew little circles inside the pink dot she's got. This one I made look like an amoeba because I just love the way it looked. I did the I did the pen around the circles inside, and then I went around it, and then I put these little things on all around it because they, you know, how amoebas have those little feet that move. It's so cool or swim. I really did all over the place on this one, <laughs> and this one too. All right, so she had 21 stickers, so one of these is on here twice. There's this one. I didn't do a lot to this one, and I didn't do a lot to it on the other side either. This is a rather large sticker that took up two tiles. A lot of it was just outlining. I think this is upside down. I did some on this. This one doesn't have a lot done to it. 
a flower, I didn't do a lot to it either. I just kind of outlined it and then drew around the little circle there. Outlined, did some white scallops on there. Picos if you're a knitter or a crocheter. Okay, so that's it for Gina's boxes. What started this originally was this box right here with, you know, I tell you guys how much I love the stamp. I'm not kidding. This is her scribble, scribble stamp. So I did it all over the box. And I couldn't finish it because I didn't have enough tiny images. I mean, I have a lot, but honestly, they all kind of look the same after a while. So I mentioned this to Cindy Utter, and she sent me this humongous box of itty bitty images and stickers and I went nuts over this stuff. So here is the completed uh, book in a box. Alright, so before I start, let me say something real quick. Don't get stupid carried away. <laughs> I put too many tiles together and after I put all the stickers and stuff on it, uh, the lid kind of... <laughs> I can't help myself. Anyway, all right, so here's the... <laughs> let me go down lower. There's the first one. There's a lot of stickers and tiny images. This is Cindy's drawing right here. I just loved it. It was simple, and it fit well on the tile, and that's it. The backgrounds for all of this is my painty papers. This is a... a rabbit sticker and I put some scrapbook paper here underneath her and that was it I mean you don't and I outlined her some things are just wonderful the way they are you don't need to do a whole lot to them soft soft and sweet <gasps> ice cream I think my favorite one on this whole line are the balloons I drew the clouds in with a uh, Signo white pen and this was an image uh, sticker, I think. Yeah, a sticker. And I cut as much of the white off around the stickers I could get. This is a two-dimensional flower. Oh, it's kind of hard to see it here. Anyway, this was from a kit that I learned how to make these flowers. I have the, uh, the dye for it. That's for my friend Leslie. She loves the beach. Me, not so much. That's something I got from um, from Cindy. These are more little stickers. I had these. Oh, no, actually, these are not stickers. These were cut out of a, uh, I think, a box or some kind because they, they stick up pretty high on here. The These were just drawings and were colored in. I got this from Cindy, the bird. I drew the notes on. Here's another one of those um, flowers. I think the re I think that what it is is this is a die cut that I have. It has all the pieces and you put it together, make sunflowers. That's what this is when I get. It's just a, you know, a whole selection of dies to put together to make these lovely flowers. And this outside piece here was uh, I used to frame it. It's not connected to the flower. This is material I got from Cindy. There's washi tape and a picture of a jar with buttons in it. And then a camera at the end. Where is it? Okay, now we go to the other side. Bicycle, flowers, acorn, cow. That came off of Ben and Jerry's. Put some uh, Tim Holtz words on here. This is, uh, I think this is from Cindy, and then she gave me a bunch of little tiny images and the, the little mushroom I thought was perfect for here. The color kind of coordinated throughout. A lot of this stuff came from Cindy. I should put it together. This definitely came from Cindy. That's a sticker. This did too. Oh, and this. Well, anyway. And there we go. That's it. That's that box. So it started this whole mess. Then this one I did for myself. 
And this one is what gave me the idea to do the mandalas for um, Gina's box. So here's more mandalas. And yes, they're different than the box that I did for Gina's design team. So now we're going to flip it. We're going to go back the other way. So this is the back side. And that's it. Okie doke. So here's the thing is um, there are four of these and they're all finished. And I had such a good time making these. This is a good way to use up your scrap painting paper and little tiny images that you have no idea what else to do with. Random stickers, words, all kinds.